Welcome everybody to the Two Turkey Show again. My name is Ray and this is John and we're doing football picks again. And this week, we're starting off the show with uh, FSU and uh, Miami. What's your pick, John? I like Florida State in this one. I think that uh, we're, we're very, we've got a good offense and I think our defense will get after Ja'Cory Harris. And I, I like the Knowles in this one. I think, I think we'll, uh, get Ja'Cory Harris on the ground and possibly get a lot of sacks in there. So I'm taking the Knowles in this one. And what are the keys to Miami? The keys for Miami is the last couple weeks they've been playing really well. They got to keep Ja'Cory Harris on a hot streak. And if he's on a hot streak, look out. But I think our defense is good enough to disrupt his ry rhythm, and I think they'll get after him. My, key, uh, my keys to the game, FSU – is going to really, really put the hammer on the uh, on the Canes. They have great offense, and it's going to be almost like a shutout. The keys to Miami winning are Jacoby Harris has to uh, score, and they have to make touchdowns instead of field goals. And uh, their defense has to um, make us turn the ball over a lot and that's the only way that Miami will win. John, John, what's your prediction for the game? I'm taking Florida State in this one. Actually, no, I'm going to go with the Canes, 38-17. What? John, I thought you were a diehard FSU fan. You're right, I am. Give me that thing right here. <laughs> and my prediction to the game is FSU all the way in a, in a blowout. 45-38. Our next game, John. Uh, our next game is Virginia Tech at Georgia Tech. That's a Thursday night game. I went with Georgia Tech because I think um, Georgia Tech is, has started to get it going here in the last couple weeks with their option that they use. And plus, it's at home, and Virginia Tech's just kind of been struggling a little bit. So I'm going to take Georgia Tech, but in a close one. Why? Why aren't you picking a VT, John? I just I haven't seen that. The you're right. Logan Thomas is a great quarterback. I just don't see. I haven't seen lately what I need to see from him. I just I like Georgia Tech in this one. My prediction for the game is an upset. Uh, VT will win. They've been improving week to week. Um, ever since that um, hard Clemson loss that they were supposed to win, but Clemson unfortunately won. Um, their offense is getting better. And Georgia Tech, even though that they beat Clemson, I still think uh, Georgia Tech... Um, can't compete to Virginia Tech. They're they're too much. VT's too much for Georgia Tech. So my prediction for the game is Virginia Tech thirty one. Georgia Tech twenty one. And your prediction for the game, John? I'm gonna go thirty one to twenty eight. Georgia Tech. Okay. Our next game, John. Oregon at Stanford. I think this game has the potential to be a shootout. I really do. I'm going to take Stanford in this one, but 45 to 38. And the keys to Oregon winning. Keys to Oregon winning is they got to get after Andrew Luck and make him where he's not comfortable throwing the ball. If they do that, they'll have a pretty good chance. My prediction to the game, it's going to be the best game of the day. Um, Andrew Luck is just, he's just Andrew Luck. He's so good. <laughs> um, and uh, he's going to have a field day on the Ducks. And the Ducks have a chance to win. They have a good offense. They have a good run game. Their defense is pretty good too. So um, it makes for a classic um, rivalry and, and a battle. So uh, I take Stanford in a close one. But I would not be surprised if Oregon wins. But I pick Stanford. Uh, 
Thirty-five twenty-eight. Our next game is Auburn at Georgia. I took Georgia in this one because I think Georgia's after that win over Florida, they've shown really what they can do, and I was impressed by Aaron Murray um, after because he started he struggled a little bit, uh, but then he sort of found his rhythm. So I'm taking the dogs in this one. Not so fast, John. <laughs> Auburn is really a good team, but they really just had had some hard games. So they're battle tested and I do think that the Tigers are going to get the W against the mighty Bulldogs. It's gonna be an upset as usual. Twenty eight twenty one go Tigers. Our, la- our next college game is we have Florida at South Carolina. I took the South Carolina Gamecocks because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a believer in Brantley. And why not having uh, South Carolina? I like South Carolina because even though uh, they lost Marcus, Mark, yeah, Marcus Rat- Lattimore for the year and uh, Steven Garcia got kicked off the team, they still have Alshon Jeffrey. So I think Alshon Jeffrey um, will will have a good game and. Connor, uh, Connor Shaw will have a good game for them, too. So I'm taking South Carolina. That's awful surprising coming from uh, Johnny Tebow here, you know. Uh, but my uh, my prediction from the game is uh, South Carolina, they're just having a bad, bad year with Marcus Lattimore out. Steven Garcia off the team. So uh, I would... Uh, South Carolina is not going to win. Florida, they have John Brantley coming back. Good offense. Defense, too. And uh, they've been winning some games. So I pick Florida in a uh, mediocre blowout. And uh, it the score is going to be 35-14 Gators. And we all know... Who you picking, Johnny Tebow? <laughs> Whatever. That's for another time. Anyway, on to our NFL games. Uh, the first game we have is the Patriots at the Jets. I took the Patriots. I think, I think they'll get their offense together after, uh, after that loss they had to the New York Giants. So I'm gonna take the uh, Patriots to beat the Jets. My keys to the uh, Patriots and Jets. The Jets, Sanchez is really good, and he just needs to pass the ball a little bit more. And they have a good running game, so they could sustain Tom Brady. But on the on the flip side, the Jets, they don't have they don't have a good defense, and the O line's kind of questionable. So I I predict Brady's gonna win, and. Uh, the Patriots are going to have a boost in commerce with this win because Patriots really need it, and the Jets also need it too. But I would not be surprised if the Jets uh, just sweep it out too because the Patriots don't have a good defense. Um, so both of them don't have really good defenses, but the Patriots have a uh, good offense, better than the Jets. So I think Patriots will win with Brady. In command, and the score is going to be 38 31 Patriots. Next up, we have the Saints at the Falcons. I took the Saints because I think I think they'll get it going, and uh, I think they'll take Atlanta out of the game and get after Matt Ryan. Uh, so I, I like the Saints, but it's going to be a close one. Uh, for the keys to the game, they, the Saints have a great offense, good defense, and Drew Brees is just amazing. Uh, the Falcons, they're having a rough year, but they do play well at home, so uh, they do have a chance. So uh, I predict, my prediction is the Saints all the way, 42 28 Saints. Our, next, oh, our final game, John. 
The final game we have is the Steelers at the Bengals. I'm taking the Steelers because I think they are on a roll right now, especially after beating New England a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to take the Steelers, and I think they'll just get after Andy Dalton and make him have a very bad game. My my prediction to the game, this is going to be an interesting, interesting game for me. I predict the Steelers are going to win. Their offense is very good, and uh, their defense is good too. But the injuries on defense really concern me about the game. So, uh, but they're playing the Bengals. So, on the flip side, the Bengals are an improved team, and they're six and two. I don't know how, but they're six and two. <laughs> and uh, but Dalton's good and. A.J. Green is good, too, so uh, it'll be a, an interesting matchup. But the Steelers will win. My prediction, 35-14 Steelers. Go Steelers. That, that does it for our game picks this week. We'll be back with you next week. Remember to uh, like us on Facebook at the Two, Tur uh, at Two Turkey Show and follow us on Twitter at Two Turkey Show. For John Ferris, he's Ray Magnero. We'll see you next week on the Two Turkey Show. Go Knowles! Go Knowles!